Okay, everything's about location, location. This is not the property, but I want to show you what where the location is. This is here on the highway, this is on 127. 127 has the longest yard sale in America. You got two two lanes on both on each side, and it's what they call a class three highway, which is like almost like an interstate quality. So anyway, this is this is one of your neighbors. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna make a right. And we're going to go down Dunn Lane, which turns into Monday's Landing, where the property is. I used to do these location videos all the time, and then I got away from it. But this location is so exciting, I've got to tell you. This is uh, like an Amish store here, so they've got bulk foods and great sandwiches and that sort of thing. That incredible uh, cow palace, that cow barn that we, we saw over there, it's part of an 8,000 acre farm. And uh, some of that is available to buy as well. The fellow passed away and uh, it's in tip-top shape and it's some of the best farmland in the state. So if you're interested in a large farm, give us a call for that as well. Here's another house. Everything's neat as a pin. When they fly flags out front, then you know that you've got a neat place. Here's another neat place that we actually looked at to buy about 25 years ago. And it's about 120 some acres as well. Then there's a big equestrian place here in the back. It's a training facility. And I'll show you some of that in information when we get up here by the sign. There's that training facility. It's called Equus Academy. Uh, it's a gated thing and I, I'm not sure what they do but there are a ton of horses in the fields. And then the horse barn, there's like a training facility, a riding arena, indoor riding arena, and that's, that's right here. Okay, so now we're getting to the driveway, thank goodness. Uh, but right here at the end, this road ends about um, less than a mile maybe, uh, into the Kentucky River, which is kind of neat. So this is not part of it over here this is just the driveway in and ken can tell you how much of it goes to the left or you can look on the plaque uh, i've got an aerial photograph wait till you see the alfalfa i'm going to get out here and show you this alfalfa there's the house by the way if you're wondering well my goodness when are we ever going to get to see the house there's the house it is an uncommonly secluded and private property You've got this whole alfalfa field here. You've got this whole, whole alfalfa field here. And then there's some grazing uh, pasture lands. And then there's more crops. And then eventually you hit the Kentucky River. More and more alfalfa. Here's more pasture over on this side. Everything's fenced because they have animals here. So you're fully fenced, but this is the money here. If you're looking for rental income, uh, farm income, alfalfa is where you want to be. Uh, it, it, it brings a premium price here because of all the horses. There's the alfalfa. And it is, some of it is almost to your knee. So, uh, you know, we've had a very nice year this year. Now, alfalfa doesn't like its feet wet, so you're up high up here. So if you're growing alfalfa, you know there's, there's no issues of um, uh, being wet or marshy. Uh, but anyway, this, this alfalfa is good and strong and worth a lot of money. Talking to the owners, and they said, it's like living in Tuscany. And, of course, you can see why. Wait till I give you a, a shot off the front porch. It's pretty amazing. Now the closest house, you know, you, you want to be private, but you, you don't want to be removed. There's a house right, right there, just to the right of that barn, okay, right there. There's a house right there. So, you know, people can watch, watch your place if you're away, that sort of thing. And of course you have an alarm system. There's high speed out here and all that stuff. Where else can you buy a view like this for this kind of money? We've got friends in California, they send me listings, it's just amazing. For the price of what they're getting, a 
three, two, four, three bedroom, two bath, 1,500 square feet, and the neighbors, I swear to you, are three feet on either side of the property. Three feet. I mean, if you hollered at your dog, they could hear every word you're saying. For that same price, you can have this house, which is built like a tank, it's insulated concrete forms, and then brick on the outside. Uh, by the way, you're looking at a 5,000 plus square foot house. The total electric bill on this house is like 165 all year round. That's for everything. Heat, air, appliances, clothes dryer, the whole deal. Computers, TVs. Um, for the same price, you can have this and 125 acres with income. This is all income property. So they rent this out to horse, horse people. There's a horse barn over there. They lease out the alfalfa to the farmer. There's a farmer right across the way. And then there's um, a little rental house off by the barn. So I'm gonna show that to you too. Okay, enough about the location. We're finally here at the house. It is my sincere pleasure to show you this property because it's fabulous. I mean, the location, I'm all about the views and the privacy and everything, that's how we live. We don't have any neighbors, can't really see any houses from our house. Well, here you are, 125 acres, and I'll give you a complete 360 here. And you can see how private it is. Is this crazy? Absolutely crazy. Tree here, I had to walk around. Now, just to the right of that gate, you see that? That's a house. There's a house right out there. So you can see that house, but it's in a different county. It's actually on the other side of the river. Uh, I don't know how you get to that particular house, but this road, Monday's Landing, like I mentioned to you, comes down here and ends at the river. Well, then it, it, well, there used to be a landing there, and that's where the barges would go across, and Monday's Landing continues on there, but it's in Woodford County. Woodford County is where William Shatner, remember Captain Kirk, uh, William Shatner lives, and he has a big horse farm and everything. Anyway, it's all gorgeous out here. This is Harrisburg, Mercer County, and you're in for a treat because the house is super duper cool. So what makes the house super duper cool? It's built with a geothermal heat system, which means it pulls the energy from the ground. We just did another one of these yesterday, which uh, if you're subscribed to our video, you'll know about. Anyway, this is over 5,000 square feet. I'll put the, the exact number right there. And the, it's total electric. Uh, and so. Your one bill covers everything from TV to heat to clothes drying to cooking to, to uh, cooling. And uh, believe it or not, 165 bucks a month to heat this whole place. This is in, made with insulated concrete forms. So you've got, I'll show you a picture of it. I'll put it right here. Okay, you see that? It's uh, styrofoam, then, then full concrete, um, and then styrofoam, and then they put brick on the outside of that. So how crazy is that? So it's built like a tank. There's a little powder room right here. So it's just a little powder. But of course, this is this is my favorite room. I mean, you're looking at the kitchen. You know, I like to cook. Look at the views. Incredible views. So look at this mural. So the mural is about farming. Um, the the uh, the place was built uh, like Tuscany, and you can see why. Not only does the house have a Tuscan feel, but the views are very Tuscan-esque. Tuscan-esque. I don't even know if that's a, uh, if that's a word or not. I'm making words up as I go along. But anyway, there's the view. There's the view. And there's the horse barn. Wait till you see those stalls. I'll give you a sneak peek right here. So you've got high ceilings, maybe nine, something like that, eight and a half, nine feet. And then another eight or nine, so you've got almost 20 foot ceilings here. Uh, if I know, I'll, I'll, I'll put it right there. But it's definitely, have, my ceilings are 16 feet of my house, and these are way higher. A lot of details, just beautiful. Now, if you're gonna use this for a primary residence, fantastic, you got high speed, you're, what, 10, 15 minutes to, um, you know, a town with a hospital and you're 30 minutes or so to Lexington, I'll put the exact numbers here. 
uh, you get FedEx and UPS every day out here. Um, if you are going to use this for like a family compound, it's, this house has got tons of room. So you see what the one floor looks like so far, and then you've got the full upstairs, and then the full walkout basement too. Look at these views. Privacy everywhere. Put hot tub, uh, fire pit. Uh, you can still invite the neighbors if you want to, but you don't need to worry about them complaining about sounds. This is what I consider the master closet or the master bedroom. So you got a nice walk in here. And then the bathroom, the ginormous bathroom. The bathroom with the mm, 12 or 14 foot long vanity top. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Let's count it here real quick. 1, 2, 10, 11, 12, 13 tiles, 12, uh, 12 inch tiles. So you got a 13 foot vanity and it's a solid surface. How nice is that? Okay, walk in shower and then the jet tub. So you got something for everybody. You like to soak, it's a two person tub. You like to, uh, if you like to shower, you got that too. And then another closet. Oh, let me show you this. So this is like a regular depth closet and then the walk-in. So you can have his and hers or whatever, right? Now this door, this goes down to the basement. I'll show you that later. All right, let's go on upstairs. I get to see a lot of houses. I get to see a lot of nice houses. What I like about this house is this huge open floor plan for entertaining and then all open up here too. So these people, look at this. There's a lot of cool architectural details here. These people are business people. They work here, work out of their home. So you have a small office, home office, and this is where they work. So that's all you need. And then look at the views here. Check it out. That's not too bad. Nice commute to work too. Just come on up the stairs. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the horses out there or not. Those are Frisians. So you got a, a bedroom here and then a bedroom over there with the Jack and Jill deal. So, you know, bathroom in between. Uh, this is a teen room. She's an artist. We're going to leave that alone. Um, it's not anything bad. It's just a little, uh, she's been painting. So there's like paint and stuff all over the place. So, and then this is the other bedroom and this one's got a little sink in it, which is nice. And then the Jack and Jill bedroom or bathroom. But this is really big. This is a big bedroom. Could use this for anything. Well, you know, this is another one of those properties that's got way too many cool details for me to even discuss it with you in a short video. So just call Ken and come on out and take a look at the property. But I want to show you this lower level. So you've got, you've got a one bay garage here. Okay, so this is the lower level, which used to be like a man cave. Not a man cave anymore. This is absolutely a family spot. So you've got a full bath here walk-in shower, I guess walk-in shower tub. Tub. You got a tub, a hopper, sink, and it's one of those big ginormous sinks and a big closet. And then all the room in the world. It's carpeted, so it's quiet. It's uh, stained concrete under here. And uh, so you can pull the carpet up if you don't like carpet. It's really nice. It's that, uh, like that Berber sculpted stuff. It's real kind of pretty. And then you've got a home theater over here. So, you gotta talk to Ken about what stays and what doesn't, um, what you can negotiate. But you've got the projector there, you got the surround sound deal, and you've got, it's cute decorated. The whole house was really cutely decorated. And the gym. 
you got the pool table and then this is a little um, like you would put your gun safe in there or something like that like a little private room in there again all poured concrete and this is yet another bedroom with its own door to the outside this is where you pull in you pull in you park right here watch this see see there's my truck so walkout basement Walkout basements are brilliant. And there's the deck above. But anyway, here you go. So you got a family member. They actually happen to have a teenager. So imagine that. Isn't this perfect for a teenager? You got your own access, a big closet, bathroom, and then right upstairs. And, uh, and there you are with the rest of the family. Okay, so you got the house right there. I got a longer lens on here. I hope I'm not gonna make you nauseous with the movement. There's the horse barn. I'm gonna show you that inside next. And now here's your front yard. Everybody's got a dream. How about this for a dream? Right at the end of this field, so where the horses are, right at the end of that field, and you go down, down the hill, uh, and there's a place to sit out there and everything. I'm not going to go out there today. You're going to have to call, and Ken will take you out there. Uh, is 430 foot of river frontage on the Kentucky River. 430 feet. The river's right down there, and it's beautiful. It's a navigable river. Okay, so remember... Remember where you are here. Here's the house. You just come right on over here. And this is the horse barn. In the front of the horse barn is an apartment and which rents for a good amount and stays full all the time because who wouldn't want to live out here? And rentals are really tough around here. They're hard to uh, they're hard to find. So anyway, this stays full all the time. Good income. Now we're gonna jump in the barn, and this is the apartment right here. And that's where that two-bedroom apartment is. And there's plenty of storage above it as well. Those are sliding doors right there. And then, of course, you've got doors you can walk your animals in this way. Those are sliding doors that uh, open up. You can bring tractors and things in. Here are the stalls that are just really amazing, actually. There's enough wood in these stalls to build a whole house. They have these uh, special U-tracks. And here's the power box. It's all 200 amp, and it's put in by Randy Horn, a good friend of mine. He does all this uh, industrial and commercial electric. He did the power work here, so you know it's done right. Back to the stalls. I wanted to show you all the stalls. These are all, like, it's all galvanized, so it's iron. And then and then you've got the wood in the channels. So if a horse gets rambunctious and knocks out one of those panels, it's not a big deal. There's feed lot there, and then cross fence, so you can bring the animals out uh, both sides. But this is done right. Um, these stalls are not cheap, as you, as you know. It's the real deal, the real McCoy. Here, we're done, we're gonna wrap it up. You need to come and see this property. It's special. It is not your everyday, average run-of-the-mill kind of place. The privacy, the seclusion, it's tucked away. This property, and being on the Kentucky River, you just need to come see it. Give us a call. One more quick thing here on my exit out the driveway. There are the two barns that are uh, part of the property. Here's all the alfalfa, there's pasture over here. But one thing I wanted to uh, point out, everyone who's in horses knows about Lexington, Kentucky. It's the horse capital of the world, right? So everyone wants to be in Lexington. Well, if you're in that million dollar or just under budget range, you're going to realize that in Lexington, you don't get very much. You get a beautiful house, 
but you might get 10 or 20 acres. If you want the land, if you want the income, like you can get out here, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at this place. You get a lot more for your money, and you're just, what, 30, 40 minutes away? Depending on what part of Lexington. So drive 30 minutes, get five or six times the land, 10 times the land, get just as nice a house, get the privacy that's, you cannot equal this in Lexington. There is nobody here, okay? This is one house here, I'll show you. Just that one house, and it's in a different county. So come on here, get a lot more for your money. This house will save you so much in heat bills and you'll have the income. Plus it's a really nice town. Harrodsburg's lovely. It's got lots of jobs, lots of growth, and uh, just a bunch of nice people. Good culture out here. It's very gentle. All right, thanks for watching. Phone number's right here. Give us a call. If you like it, come on in. Let's take it off the market before someone else grabs it.